think we still have the fact that was investigated in, in studies several years ago that we have, we as caregivers and the patients have almost the same, um, we guess this, that the patients have the problems they have once they are on the treatment site. But when they come home, we are less aware of how they are feeling. And we don't have the right tools uh, to sort of communicate with the patients when they are home. So still there is a risk at the, that the patients feel much uh, worse than we think they do once they are at home. Uh, after between the treatment phases. I think one of the major obstacles for implementing the guidelines is that it takes, it's difficult for a large hospital organization to change routines. And, and although everyone at the department are aware of that there are good evidence for changing a uh, way of treating patients. It's, it's an obstacle to really try to implement it because people are prone to, to not um, accept changes very fast. And you need to, sometimes you need to have a different type of, of uh, you need to change your way of working. You need to change your procedures. You, you need to change your routines and, and I think that's the, at least in Sweden and perhaps in the rest of Europe, that's the, one of the main obstacles that it takes time to, to sort of adapt to the evidence that's, that's out there. The advantage I see is that it's not a mixed with something else. It's a clean product that's not a combination of two um, different drugs. And for some patients that's really necessary that you need to be able to separate what you give to the patient. Uh, and one advantage is also that you, need, you don't need to change doses when you combine it with dexamethasone. And that's a clear advantage, I think, for compared to some of the other NK1 receptor antagonists. The most obvious uh, evidence is all the um, amount of data that's available that, that supports the guidelines that we have. Um, all the large organizations uh, pr that have produced um, evidence-based guidelines, they support the use of NK1 receptor antagonists for patients with highly hematogenic chemotherapy or for patients uh, having um, some of the moderate um, treatments. So there are lots of, of um, uh, scientific evidence supporting the use of NK1 receptor antagonists. Uh, and also when you think about the clinical situation, we as doctors and nurses, we really want the patients to have the best possible care and we need to really implement and use the evidence. So on a clinical basis, there is um, lots of, of uh, upsides in using uh, the best treatments to prevent the symptoms. Because if you can prevent the symptoms, the patients have a much better quality of life and you, degre you decrease a lot of, of other uh, possible obstacles that the patients may have during their treatment phase. Mm -hmm.